everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and we're going to continue on with our NAT series. And we're going to cover verification of NAT and the IP NAT table, so the NAT translations table that is used to verify that whether NAT is working for sure. So in a previous video, we set up NAT, we used PC1 and PC2, we pinged from those PCs all the way to Router 2's loopback, and we have a successful ping. And we made sure the pings were coming from this single overloaded IP of 140.111 by using the debug on router 2. Okay, But let's assume that we don't have access to router 2. We, we only have access to router 1. Well, we can do a command called show IP NAT translations. And usually what I just do, I just type in show IP NAT tran, a common... Vietnamese last name and uh, just hit tab after that and it will complete it. Okay, so after I did that, you could see I have nothing. Well, not a big deal. The reason for that is I pinged a long time ago and what happens is that NAT table is periodically cleared out. So go over to PC1. Let's start a ping. So hit the up arrow, we'll ping. Ping is successful. Go over to router 1. Hit the up arrow, show IP NAT translations, and you could see we have a protocol, ICMP, and something in our NAT table. That's pretty cool. And let's see what happens if I tell NAT to all twos. It's not going to go through because I don't have the password set up. But now as I go back to router 1, hit the up arrow, we now have a TCP connection trying to get out. So that's pretty nice. And different port numbers as well. Awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at what exactly is in this NAT table, this NAT translations table. Inside global, inside global. So how does my inside address look, inside address look to the rest of the world? Now my inside address looks to the rest of the world as 140111. That's a real IP address. It's able to be used globally. So how do my inside addresses look in regards from R2's viewpoint? Well, when the pings and telnets went through, they were translated into this address, and so R2 thinks that this IP address is talking to it. But in reality, it's PC1 and PC2. So that's the inside global address of 140.111. Inside local is the real address before translation, or inside real address before translation. So we have a 10, 10, 12, 2, and this was assigned by DHCP, 10, 10, 12, 2. Now we have something outside local and outside global. In this case, outside local and outside global are the same, 2, 2, 2, 2, because there's no translation of the outside address this looks the same whether you're looking at it from router 1, from PC1, or PC2. It's all the same. Outside local, outside global. That looks the same. Now let's see what happens if we hit the up arrow on show IP NAT translations. It's going to be timed out. It's been cleared out. I'm going to pull in PC1 and PC2. I'm going to do a ping from PC1 and at the same time or almost the same time I'm going to do the ping from PC2. I'm going to move those windows out of the way. I'm going to go back to R1, hit the up arrow, show IP NAT translations, hit the enter key and you can see here our two pings from two different PCs, our global address is the same, 140111, just the port number is a little bit different. Our inside local address is different. 12.2 is PC1, 13.2 is PC2, and our outside local, outside global, that is the same. It's pretty cool. Show IP NAT translations. Now, if you want to blow away this table, if you want to reset the connections, you could do a clear IP NAT translation, and this will basically do a reset, Let's hit the upper on that, 
needs a different option, another option, clear IP NAT translation, star, evil command. Now hit the up arrow a couple times, show IP NAT translations, should have nothing there. All right, so that was a quick and easy video of verifying your NAT translation and simple command, show IP NAT translations. And then you would probably follow that up or actually you would do a ping before that. You would send some traffic like a telnet. Uh, you would pop your email from the PC. You would do something to send traffic to the outside. And then you'd go on router one and do a show IP NAT translation. Thanks for watching.